Good evening, you guys. This is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to this reading. So I'm going to be talking about this reading for the Twin Flame Collective. So it may not resonate with everybody. So just use your intuition. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't and follow your intuition. Take the energy how it applies. And uh, we're going to look at the reading coming through for Saturday evening. So there's an energy here about love's embrace here. So there's um there's um somebody wanting to embrace each other. Like one of the counterparts or both of you want to embrace, all right? And it's in a loving way, all right? And there is this waiting for you. All right? There's a night shift. So somebody's definitely like um you know, they've been waiting some time or, you know, they've, they're willing to go, um, you know, during the night shift to wait for you in some way. Um, there's also this aspect of headache, not feeling it, running and avoiding. So somebody has also been, uh, running and avoiding or, uh, invoid avoiding this love's embrace. And there's somebody else that is like waiting for you. All right. So this is the energies associated with this love's embrace. And we're going to see what the energy is. Um, so right now in this connection, there is this warrior of love. So there is an energy with this love's embrace. The person that has been avoiding it and then the person that has been waiting for you. There's this war warrior of love energy coming through. This is like fighting for love or going the distance for love. Um, this is um, like an action. All right. This is moving. Um, there's a there's a physical movement with this warrior of love here. So let's see what's happening. <clears throat> so with this warrior of love, there has been some kind of persuasion or there has been some type of temptation. All right. And. <clears throat> Maybe you are feeling tempted or there is some kind of persuasion because there's this um, love's embrace. So <clears throat> there is some kind of temptation part that is coming through here. All right. There's some kind of like it's it's something that's good. Right. Because you have the pancakes there. All right. And so this temptation here, somebody is feeling burdened. All right. There's a burden here. With this temptation, it's like going up the mountain with a bunch of wands. It's a lot of stress, all right? There's a lot of things to carry. Um, and the stress is in relation to this public recognition, all right? This has to do with, you see all these people in the background and they are adorning this feminine. The feminine is giving the roses and like in this hero type of energy, right? Um, there's a burden, all right, when it comes to this, um, temptation, like what I get, it's like, um, who, whoever is in this energy, it's like, there's this temptation, all right, but the temptation is causing them to feel burdened because there's also this aspect of, of wanting to have, uh, public recognition, all right so that's with this warrior of love fighting for love okay we also have this claim energy making it official and leveling up all right so someone wants to level up in some way make things official um and it's there's this page of cups energy so there is some kind of artistic endeavor or some kind of creative um, endeavor or project or like this could be some kind of project or some type of um, creative endeavor all right this is something that is more what I'm getting here it's like um, it's more immature the energy it's very youthful it's very um, free uh, kind of energy, free spirit kind of energy coming through with this page of cups. All right. Um, it's not 
nothing too serious. It's like a go with the flow kind of thing, energy. That's what I get from this. And it's with this um, claim and making it official. All right, so this is what's coming through with this warrior of love. And it's like fighting for love or, you know, charging with love. All right, and then there's this aspect of begging coming through and on knees humble. All right, and um, with this humbleness or this begging aspect, aspect, there's this temperance energy, which is like balancing things out and not going to extremes. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is, um, this love is causing, you know, um, this love here, it just seems like, um, somebody is a little bit burdened. All right. Um, it's like to do the right thing kind of thing, but there's this love and, um, they don't want to, um, you know, go to extremes, all right? It's almost, you know, wanting to take some kind of approach where the person is honoring love, I guess, honoring the, the flow of love. That's what I feel like what this is. So <clears throat> we also have this beyond words here, number 29. Beyond words is something that you just, you can't, you can't explain it, all right? This is something that is maybe something that could be felt, all right, between the two of you. And so this beyond words here, let's look at this. We have this bad boy, yours for tonight player, okay? And we have here, it's clarified by the star in reverse. So <clears throat> there may be some type of despair or there may be some type of um, disconnect. All right. Um, with um, a new start here. All right, this is a passionate new start with the Divine Masculine here. So <clears throat> it could be that <clears throat> there is this aspect of yours for tonight. All right, there's this energy here, bad boy, yours for tonight. And it's causing some kind of disconnect here with a passionate new start with the Divine Masculine. Okay, and this is what this energy of beyond words Okay, so <clears throat> we also have this eyes of desire, admiring you and adoring you. And somebody wants to charge forward quickly. You know, they might want to communicate this right now really quickly regarding their adornment and their admiration of you. All right. This desire that they have for you. Okay. And... There's also this um, blindfold being tied up. And so this tied up energy being caught up, um, maybe mentally or just not sure. Um, there's this uh, fear energy and perhaps even wanting to go with the unknown in relation to this energy. Okay, so <clears throat> this energy is here and um, I asked... Uh, spirit, what is the message here with this energy? We have the death card. So this is in relation to an ending. So an ending, um, in relation to an ending, Spirit's message is with, regarding this ending, like what to end. All right. That's what I get what this is about, what to end. Um, spirit is saying that there is some kind of mental uh, conflict here. Okay some kind of mental entrapment taking place where you are needing to make a plan of action and take the first step towards that plan of action and this is represented by the page of pentacles so this is a starting energy
okay? Um, this is something that you are going to um, proceed with in the physical. And you're taking the first step. So regarding this mental entrapment, um, make some type of plan of action here with the Page of Pentacles. Um, and then they said to utilize your intuition here. All right, it's the High Priestess energy. Um, okay. So the High Priestess, you utilize your inner knowing and your intuition to guide you. All right. And this guiding is in relation to the Queen of Wands in reverse. So the Queen of Wands in reverse is another feminine. I'm going to say it's another feminine energy. And um, utilize your intuition in relation to that. Okay, this is going to be part of the planning. All right, that's giving you this mental entrapment. And your intuition here, you're utilizing it is with this other feminine here, but it's also about juggling. All right, you're going to see, utilize your intuition if you are being juggled um, with this other person or like you're, you're going to tap into your energy and you're going to know, okay, like what is this actually happening? All right. And this is part of that, um, first step. All right. Um, and what was this? Okay. <clears throat> I also forgot to mention here that this uh, mental entrapment is having to do with a missed opportunity, like feeling like you've missed out on, on an opportunity. So uh, with that missing out, out on an opportunity, you're making a plan and making the first step. You're utilizing your intuition. Um, once you, you engage in this first step, you utilize your intuition to see if you are being juggled here. Uh, with this Queen of Wands in reverse, which is another feminine, all right? And um, why uh, why is this, I asked the Spirit, and we have here King of Wands, all right? So you're going to have to see here, um, you know, this King of Wands energy. This is about action and leadership. Um, you're going to see, you know, if there's an action here like a follow through, all right, um, a passion and desire to follow through, start to ending with this movement forward with the chariot, because you can see here, we have on this picture here, we have this way and that way, all right, and you're going to see which way, because you're going to utilize your intuition, okay, and this is in relation to options, all right, so, um, this is the message that I have. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like to the reading. I love you and have a good night. Take care.